Hey everybody, I'm in Kankakee, Illinois, which is uh, which is about 50 miles southwest of Chicago. And uh, actually, to be specific, I think I'm in Bourbonnet, Illinois, which is a little town next to Kankakee. And Bourbon Bourbonnet is known to be the uh, spring training place for the Chicago Bears. So there are a lot of huge, beautiful houses along the river here. And this is the uh, Kankakee River. Um, but these houses are huge and they're on giant lots. And uh, I'm pretty sure at least some of them belong to some of the Chicago Bears. Since they spend uh, quite a bit of time down here, I'm sure they probably own houses. So. Actually, the one across the river, not so huge couple of them that I saw were really big. So spring has finally reached Chicagoland. And look at these beautiful little flowers. So pretty. And one cool thing is that all along this river it seems like there's um, sand beaches. which That's very unusual for these parts. And I'm pretty sure they're natural. They weren't um, filled in with sand. Yeah, it's kind of cool. The only bad thing is um, the river doesn't look very clean and it's uh, I can't say that that's from like pollution or anything, but it's just very murky and green Which seems to be the case with uh, most rivers that I well, probably all rivers that I've seen in this area, so Check out this cool little spot. So behind me is the uh, Kankakee River running <laughs> running that way and then um, over here got like some little caves and then a uh, like a little canyon here and there's a little waterfall that runs and I wish the water was a little lower I'd walk in a little further Let me zoom in and see if you can see it kind of a steep climb here and it's all it's all tree limb I mean tree roots all the stairs <laughs> tree roots all the way up to the top so now I'm up above the waterfall still can't really see it <laughs> but look there's a little tiny cave Tiny cave over there on the side of the uh, cliff. So now we can look down. There's a little waterfall there. And another little waterfall there. And, <laughs> and more going up the canyon. This little area is, to me is very unique for northern Illinois. I've never seen anything quite like this up here kind of looks like we have an area called Starved Rock in Illinois. It's kind of uh, central Illinois. And then up in Wisconsin, they have uh, the Wisconsin Dells area, which has got some things kind of similar to this. But this, I think, that you would call a gulch. And it's not something you see very often around here. And then I realize from this vantage point, that you can actually, um, people go over to the little cave and that there's graffiti all around it, which is unfortunate. I don't know why we always have to do that. But there's the cave and you can kind of see there's graffiti around it. But look, there's like that tiny little path that leads to it. Kind of want to go over there now. And then it almost looks like there's stairs going down to the water. Stone stairs. And here's another waterfall. And across the little creek. To 
today I'm wearing my hiking shoes. I so often find myself on hikes in flip-flops. It's obviously not the smartest choice of footwear. I don't know if this is private land on the other side or not, but I guess I'll find out. Okay, I'm gonna climb this hill. I didn't even notice there was a bridge. I found kind of a creepy cave right over my shoulder there. Let's go see how creepy it is. big that is but it's, it's actually pretty big um, like a couple of children could definitely hide in there easily it goes pretty far back to the one side it's a little creepy there are a bunch of uh, cliff dwelling birds looking in little cracks in the, uh, the sides of the cliffs they move too fast I can't tell what they are I really don't think the uh, the beauty of this place is going to come across on film that well. This is a really nice view. I'm on the other side of the, uh, the little gulch right now. And I'm right next to another creepy cave. This is the one I saw from the other side that has uh, graffiti all over it. That one is actually pretty big. Looks like people come here and party. It's a bunch of beer cans and chip bags. But that's, um, Kind of a creepy tight entrance and um i wouldn't say I'm claustrophobic but i am not into uh spurlunking at this point of my life so i'm not going in there look at how pretty 